Hi Moby family, Claude here and behind me we've got our infamous bat wing which is made to sleep four, six or eight people depending on how big the in-laws, the outlaws or the no-laws are. It spans seven meters long, it's two and a half meters deep. It's got a little room where you can lock people away and today we're going to show you how to set it up. So in travel mode this is what we have, the, the Moby uh, bat wing is in a bag. Now inside the bag is, is the whole wing plus all the legs except for one set of legs which is nice so in other words once we spread the, le the, the bat we will then put the poles down strap them down and that will be it. There's no poles that you will have to mark or go and look for or blame somebody because they didn't bring it so we're going to show you how that's done. The wing is conveniently held together by these clips, so it's just a question of unclipping it and then the, take the back out of the way and then your wing comes out. So it's important to just take the, the full canvas cover out of the way and then Now these are the straps that we use to stretch the wing and uh, you can see there at the top we've got a uh, fastening point and then on the back side we can have a look and see there's another one there as well. So once we stretch the wing we make sure that it's nice and tight and then we'll start taking the, the legs out. So uh, in this aluminium track we've got uh, the leg, it's just a question of flipping it out and then putting it down, adjusting the height and then tightening it and that's it. So the only pole that's not uh, in the bat wing itself is the center piece which uh, we conveniently store here. So you can see that we've got a little hole there um, where this pushes in. And then we've got a hole here um, and that hole you line up the pole hole and then we just stretch the roof and we tighten it and we get our height right here and that's a wing. So focusing on convenience and the bat wing has got its own tie down ropes which you unzip you take it out you tie it down and then it will look like that so now that we've uh, done all of the ropes uh, it's time to tidy up a little bit there and uh, as you can see the bag has got some velcro and then there's a strip of velcro as well now you can use that velcro to put a set of lights um, or you can just also tidy this up so when you wake up in the morning and you've got a wonderful view then you don't have these ropes hanging around inside. So now there you have it, the bat wing is fully deployed, <clears throat> now you can start enjoying it, have something to drink or if you want to now we can do, show you how to do the full enclosure. So now that we've got the, the wing up so we're going to show you how to full, do the full annex enclosure. First we're going to do the draft skirt. Now it's important that you take the rope and feed it through the rope slide. And we start from the center and we work our way to the front and to the back simultaneously. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start from this corner. Now every single one of our panels is marked so it will be number one, number two and up to number seven uh, so that you can do it uh, even at night. The important thing to, to, uh, to look at you can see that we've got number seven here and then you will see at the top here uh, you've also got number seven. 
So you just make sure that the, the, the numbering of the panels stay with this, what the wall is telling you. Also, first what we do is we put the rope in, into the rope slide. The important thing to also note is that the mesh is on the outside. That way you will put it up right the first time. So uh, we start at the top. These zips are fairly big, so it does slide easy. And then we've got these Velcro so that it goes around the pole. And then keep this panel in place. Remember to take this out first, ask me how I know. So when we're at this stage, everything gets a little bit repetitive. The one thing just to notice is that between each one of the poles, we've got one canvas, except for the center one that spans over two of them. Um, so for the rest, you can put one canvas up, you can put all of them up, you can put them where you want to, depending on where the wind comes and, and what the purpose of them is. So here you have it, our Batwing Annex. Um, now, as you can see, we've tidied it up a little bit, so make it a little bit homey. This thing is absolutely ginormous. Uh, we can get Kathy Freeman to practice a start here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put that little room in there. So you, as you can see, you don't have to put the room up. It's only when you want to keep somebody outside and not in the Moby. So what's nice about this little room is it's got its own PVC canvas ground sheet. Interesting that uh, the room is not square so maybe a good tip is just to mark the walls and mark on the ground sheet so that you don't have to turn it 360 times to get it in the right position. Now also what is nice is uh, you can you velcro the floor to the walls uh, so you don't get any crawling, rolling, sailing insects to come and join you in bed. So also very nice that uh, you can you can put clothes and stuff in here so when there's a lot of rain the rain will just uh, go underneath the ground sheet. So now to put up the prison wall uh, we start on this corner. Uh, so you can see that this is number eight where we've just stopped number seven there number eight is this wall. So the last thing to do is to just attach the floor to the wall and then we are ready to use, uh, put our furniture in there, our sleeping bags, swags, uh, parents-in-law, uh, whatever you want to hide in there. Alright Moby family, there you have it, our bat wing. We've done it in 10 minutes. If you can do it under 8, I'll buy you dinner. <laughs>